Yeah, it's Europe's Mississippi and Europe's Alabama coming in to Texas or wherever the, yeah, to Dallas to talk about how great it is to be Europe's Alabama. The globalists can all go to hell. I have come to Texas. Uh, <laughs> but what do you mean the globalists can go to hell? You're a globalist, idiot. You're doing globalism. We know what you're talking about when you say glo the globalist, the globalist. What do you mean? You're a you are engaging in a globalist act right now. Why the should any of these diabetic, geriatric, mobility scooter riding mother care about what the Hungarian leader has to say? Here it is. The Conservative Political Action Conference, or CPAC, kicks off in Texas. Now, the usual speakers will be there, Donald Trump, Steve Bannon, Ted Cruz, and so on. But so will a controversial foreign leader, Hungary's Viktor Orban, whose government is accused of undermining women's rights, LBGT rights, controlling the media, and much, much more. Three-time champion of Hungary, okay? Uh, he is a white nationalist. He's crazy. Uh, conservatives love him. Tucker Carlson literally did, like, a documentary on his life. He's a part of that, like, international fascist coalition. Okay? And, and he's at CPAC. We can give to our children and our most recently he talked about how race mixing is bad by the way he basically said race mixing is a Dear problem <laughs> oh that's a covid call let's move on family policy which is the heart of our politics progressives claim all over the world that families should not be protected in Europe, they say there is no such thing as family because love is love and family is family. If you cannot define family, nothing is a family. We know that family is the place to transfer the values of parents to the next generation. If traditional families are gone, there is nothing that can save the West from going under. Therefore, Last year in Hungary, we spent more than 6% of our GDP on family policy. All subsidies are already available to families following conception. Families automatically get tax breaks. Wait, what the? The state takes over your student loans after your third Bro, child. does he know where he's at right now? Why is he talking about this? From paying personal uh -oh. income tax Republicans are not going to like that, dude. After the birth of their fourth child. Republicans are going to be like, wait a minute. To extend the same zero tax policy for mothers with... I guess they're talking about it as like tax breaks, right? So, they're not talking about it like subsidies. If you are not married yet, you should immediately find a Hungarian wife. <laughs> in, the, in the last 10 years, ladies and gentlemen, in the last 10 years, the number of marriages has doubled and the number of abortions has halved in Hungary. It's not a bad start. <laughs> but what do you mean, give money to families? What the f Friends. That's called welfare queens. In Hungary, we had to build not just a physical wall on our borders and the financial wall around our families, but the legal wall around our children to protect them from the gender ideology that targets them. Let's be clear, they think that parents should follow the progressive way of parenting. If they refuse to do so, they should be forced by the state. We Hungarians know this old communist trick and we reject it. Hungarian people rejected sexual orientation programs in schools without parental consent at a referendum again. Never before has there been a referendum in the long history of Hungary Wait, is it such a huge majority of without parental consent gender or anything. Now the Hungarian constitution now the Hungarian constitution protects families and children. Let me quote a few sentences from our Hungarian fundamental law. Our constitution reads, the family 
and the nation constitute the principal framework of our coexistence. Hungarian state institutions are obliged to protect the Christian culture of Hungary. Hungary shall protect the institution of marriage as the union of one man and one woman. <laughs> Family ties Family ties shall be based on marriage or the relationship between parents and children. To sum up, the mother is a woman, the father is a man, and leave our kids alone. Full stop, end of discussion. <laughs> oh my God, look at that crowd, baby. That's right. Oink, oink, mother Oh my God. They're giving him a standing ovation. I'm, I'm getting up friends. from my mobility scooter, Bertha. Hold me. I need to tell this hungry man I'm hungry for more of his and takes. Without compromise. We decided, we decided we don't need more genders. We need more rangers. <laughs> Less drag queens and more Chuck Norris. <laughs> we believe... We believe there is no freedom without order. If there is no order, you get chaos. In Hungary, law enforcement agencies are not people's enemies. They are the guardians of freedom. Therefore, law should not protect criminals, but protect the victims and those who are- I don't get it. Like, what's up? Do, should conservatives just- I think conservatives should f*** it off and move to Hungary then. Like, I'm an advocate for that. I don't know about you guys, but like, if they love Hungary so much, why don't you marry it, dude? The yeah, go. Country in Europe. Go live there then. That's Actually, great. Actually, Budapest is among the very few European capitals. Seems like a great place, dude. Just go live there. Sorry, Hungarians. A bunch of fing, uh, a bunch of our fat hogs are coming over there. To the police. Until they realize that the Chili's is not open. You know what I mean? There's no, there's no jalapeno poppers, and then they desperately try to come back into America. Of higher taxes. We believe that people should have their money in their own hands. To this end, we introduced a flat tax on personal income, which is currently 15%. In... In just 10 years' time, we reduced the tax wedge by 10%, which was the biggest tax cut in Europe. We have the lowest corporate income tax in Europe, which is flat, 9%. With this low corporate income tax last year, we had a 27% investment rate, which was among the best in Europe. Just recently, we came under fire again when we went again. Yeah, someone should ask what the VAT's at then. Yeah, European countries oftentimes hit the VAT pretty hard. I don't know why he's saying like corporate taxes are super Hungary low. Hungary is the last man standing. But the empire always strikes back. The current U.S. administration decided to terminate the tax treaty between Hungary and the United States which was probably the best tax deal ever negotiated. It was good ah! for U.S. investors. There Dog, Hungarian VAT, Hungarian US VAT is at 27%. I think it was That's their standard the VAT. of the left. Okay. Because the U.S. Treasury... This mother I have been like, oh, we take down the corporate tax rate. It's like, okay, well, they, that's not your main VAT. funding mechanism anyway. Shut the f*** up. Anymore. Funny, isn't it? Ladies and gentlemen, finally, we need to talk about the war. The war. You All the Amerifat saying, what the f*** is a VAT? VAT is a value-added tax, okay? Same with Turkey, same with a lot of European countries. There's a lot of value-added tax is the tax you get uh, hit with. It's a sales tax. Currently, more than 10,000 refugees 
every day. The majority of these refugees ventures further into Europe, but one million people entering a country of 10 million is a lot. In my view, the globalist leader strategy escalates and prolongs war and decreases the chance of peace. Without American-Russian talks, there will never be peace in Ukraine. More and more people will die and suffer, and our economies will come to the brink of collapse. I cannot tell you God what to it. do. It's your sovereign decision. I can, however, tell you one thing. Only strong leaders are able to make peace. We, we in the neighborhood of Ukraine are desperately in need of strong leaders. He didn't get a lot of claps for that one. Because even in a conservative, even in the, even at the CPAC conference, when you're surrounded by a horde of conservatives, the moment that you talk about Russia as like an actor involved and not immediately a foreign adversary, that's the moment that people are going to be like, eh, I don't know about, I don't know about that one. Okay, you're looking kind of brown to me, brother. So before MatchLab takes my microphone away, let's come to a conclusion. The world has several great nations, but none with the power and influence of the United States. Guys, I've never seen Gru or Minions or Despicable Me memes and shit, so I don't know. Stop saying that this guy is exactly like Gru, okay? I don't know. I don't know what and that means. The future means. of the West is in grave doubt. We in the West have not faced a crisis like this for a long time. The ideological wars of the 20th century against the totalitarian powers of Nazi Germany and Soviet Union were terrible. But democratic West rallied and defeated them both. Now the West is at war with itself. We have seen what kind of future the globalist ruling class has to offer. But we have a different future in mind. The globalists can all go to hell. I have come to Texas. Uh, <laughs> bro, what do you mean the globalists can go to hell? You're the Hungarian... Bro, what is so funny about this is that he's the Hungarian leader in America urging Americans to talk to the Russian leader about the war in Ukraine, and then immediately after goes, uh, uh, the globalists can go to hell. Just say Jews, man. Just say Jews. We know what you mean. You ran on it. We know what you mean when you say global. You're a globalist, idiot. You're doing globalism. We know what you're talking about when you say glo the globalist, the globalist. What do you mean? You're a you are engaging in a globalist act right now. Why the should any of these diabetic, geriatric, mobility scooter riding mother care about what the Hungarian leader has to say? This year, then presidential and congressional elections in 24. And we will have election in the European Parliament same year. These two locations will define the two fronts in the battle being fought for Western civilization. Today, we hold neither of them. Yet, we need both. You have two years to get ready. I have to tell, it won't be easy. But don't be afraid. Just believe in St. Jan Paul's, the Polish Pope's teaching. There is no enemy that Christ has not already defeated. So let's go out and do it. God bless Texas. God bless our friendship. Good luck and goodbye. Also, this anti-globalist leader collects more EU welfare dollars than any other country other than Poland, the other anti-globalist EU country. Bro, they are literally Poland and Hungary. And the way that they govern themselves in the most reactionary ways are identical to the way that red states uh, uh, govern themselves. Do you get it?
Do you understand? That's exactly the same. It's like red states being like, I hate federalism. Meanwhile, like they literally cannot survive without federal government, without the federal government giving them tax dollars that are that they're getting from California and shit. Yeah, it's Europe's Mississippi and Europe's Alabama coming in to Texas or wherever the yeah, to Dallas to talk about how great it is to be Europe's Alabama. Here it is. The Conservative Political Action Conference or CPAC kicks off in Texas. Now, the usual speakers will be there, Donald Trump, Steve Bannon, Ted Cruz, and so on. But so will a controversial foreign leader, Hungary's Viktor Orban, whose government is accused of undermining women's rights, LBGT rights, controlling the media, and much, much more. CNN's Ben Wiedemann is live in Budapest. Ben? <laughs> wait, why is he in Budapest? Why did they, wait, what? Orban's in America, so we sent the guy to Budapest. What? Like, he's familiar with local politics, maybe? Yeah, probably. John, despite all of that, uh, even the critics of the prime minister here concede that over the last 12 years, some of his policies have managed to help improve the lot of many Hungarians. Yet despite that, of late, as the economy has begun to falter, Viktor Orban has resorted to rhetoric reminiscent of some of the darkest days in this country's history. You could call it a meeting of like minds. I love that someone said the CIA should do an op in, in Hungary. And do what? Make him more popular? Like, what do you think the CIA does? Just because yesterday I talked about how the CIA works with everyone doesn't mean that they also have, like... Their ultimate ideological goals are never going to be on the uh, in line with the left, dude. No, they work with everyone to achieve reactionary goals. You understand? Lines. Video from his official Facebook page shows Hungarian Prime Minister Viktor Orban visiting former President Donald Trump Tuesday at his Bedminster, New Jersey golf club. On his way to this week's Conservative Political Action Conference in Texas, the hard right anti immigrant Prime Minister recently set off alarm bells with a speech laced with sinister undertones. Oh, this is the one where he talks about miscegenation, right? This is a wild one. I love that the conservatives are like, conservatives are like uh, using Orban as a guy to point to. Like Tucker Carlson loves him, right? They're using him as a guy to point to because he can say stuff that they want to be able to openly say, but they can't really say themselves. Because like, no matter how much Tucker Carlson goes crazy talking about like how immigrants are vermin or whatever, how they're dirty. These are things that Tucker Carlson has said. He can't openly say like, you know, race mixing is bad, right? But he can point to Viktor Orban who's saying race mixing is bad and go, that's a really good guy. That's a really good guy. He's saying a lot of crazy stuff. We Europeans, Orban said, are willing to mix with one another, but we do not want to become peoples of mixed race. He has since come out and said... It's just like weird to say this, and I'm about to... I'm about to offend the entirety of Hungary, but like... Hungarians, European... Are you? I mean... It is a social construct, I guess, but like, what, what's up? Insisting he isn't racist or anti-Semitic. The damage, however. He definitely is anti-Semitic, by the way. The, the idea that he's not is ridiculous. Is done. Viktor Orban's talk about race. Most of this, we don't want to mix, originates from the fact that Hungarians have never actually won a war. All the L's we took throughout history have made this national pride, literal Nazi racism kind of the way to go. You can see it live and alive when you come to the U.S. and talk to fresh off the boat Hungarians. Yeah, it's just funny to be, like, Hungarian and be like, no, we do not want to mix. It's like, bro, what are you talking about? Like, Racial mixing, about racial purity, stir up dark, still fresh memories. These metal shoes commemorate the spot where in the final months... And yes, they don't like Turks. Understandable, okay? It, it's understandable to have resentment against Turkish people uh, if you're Hungarian. ...of World War II... Hungarian Nazis murdered thousands of Jews. 
It's time for evening prayer in Budapest's historic Duhani Street Synagogue. Rabbi Robert Frolich says Orban's words hit too close to home. You saw the small congregation here who come here every evening, every morning uh, to pray. They are older people. Most of them are Holocaust survivors. They are worried. They heard this before. And it didn't end well. Often described as an authoritarian, Orban has been in power for the last 12 years, re-elected in April. His economic policies have won him support, but with inflation rising, that's beginning to change, says economist Zoltan Pugatsa. In the longer run, yes, I think Orban remains popular, but in this particular point in time, I think more people are skeptical about him than ever before. In Budapest Central Market... By the way, this is one of the things that people don't understand, even about Turkey as well, and I know Hassan always bringing shit back to Turkey, but it's like, these... Dudes, regardless of how right wing or how reactionary or how authoritarian they are, will often have a load of people that like counter him, right? But they also have a load of people that support him. Half the time, when we talk about like countries, okay, half the time we talk about countries that are not the United States of America, where they have like authoritarian autocratic leadership, Americans fail to consider that those leaders unironically are more popular than democratically elected American leaders. And that is the sad f***ing truth, okay? Same with Erdogan, who's finally at the tail end of his like almost 30-year regime, and his power is, is finally f***ing waning. Uh, even with Duterte, yes, and, and certainly with Orban as well. Americans fail to comprehend that, like, you know, we got, like, we got a f***ing tiny percentage of the population that is voting, okay? And even then, they don't really like the f president or they don't really like the party. Meanwhile, when you look to countries like this, they got ride or die homies that are like, no, I love this guy. I f love this guy. Yeah, same with Xi, same with Putin, same with Recep Tayyip Erdogan, and certainly same with Viktor Orban as well. Like in our own country. Margarete Krajnik, the butcher, begs to differ. Viktor Orban is doing everything for his people, she says. He loves his people. Evening and city residents savor the soft breezes off the Danube. History flows through this city, the past never far from the surface. And, and with a possible recession on the horizon, the fear is the prime minister is looking for scapegoats, something this part of Europe has seen in the past. John? Ben Wiedemann, look at a liberal democracy and the echoes of history. Thank you very much. Yeah, I got to go to, uh, I want to go to Hungary and, and the trial uh, of take a look at some of those castles that uh, were, were overtaken by the Ottoman Empire. You know what I'm saying?